Greetings and salutations, everyone. My name is Featherhoof, and welcome back to Spime. Which, thinking about it, with all the quantum entanglement that's going on here, I think is like, like, I, I, there's a word for it when you squish two words together, but it means space time. So, Spime. So, we still have the uh, Langolier out there, which is just what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the Langolier because that's exactly what it looks like. So, he's already out there waiting for us. He's been here the entire time since the last episode. He's just been like, where is he? It's been forever. I know he's here. I just can't seem to find him. Where is he? He's way over the door. Got it. And down. No, no. Hide behind, hide behind the ghost. Hide behind the ghost. Hello? Are you going to move, Langolier? Come on. There you go. There you go, Langolier. I know your type. You're you're hungry. You're always hungry. Uh oh, down. Doesn't see me. Wow. Why does this ghost on the left look like he has horse hooves? Doesn't it look like he's got horse hooves going on there? Go on. Go on. No, no, no. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Move along. Nothing to see here. Uh, the thing with this game is that the actual game file is broken up into Spime Part 1 and Spime Part 2. But as far as I can tell, like, from what I was reading, Spime Part 2 is only for, like, if, like, you, like, the game crashes when it transitions. But I don't know where the transition is supposed to be, so I don't know if I'm even in Part 1 or Part 2 yet. I don't know how far along I am into this game. Like, I remember the first game of uh, Suits and Nukes I played, it was uh, a one-parter, just a little Astro Creep, one-part series, short, sweet, to the point. And then part, you know, then he did Nightmare Fishing Tournament, which was, I, I turned out to be a two-parter. Is this, this is going to be a three-parter game? Now, I grow weary of this note system. What have I proven with each note so far that isn't obvious enough already? Is my own set of experience, experience is not evidence enough? Is it not clear there is no escape? For what purpose then do I even bother pushing through to what may or may not lie beyond well you know because you don't want the Langolier to kill you because he will he will kill you dead okay that's what those Langoliers do you are an anomaly in space-time and he must erase you you looking for a note look for the notes up ah. what's wrong with them so, just what is all this anyway? School taught us that human body was made up of billions of single-celled organisms, tissues and the like, tissues and the like, all set out for a single purpose, all acting together. Now, here I am, looping the same diner again and again, no idea where this began or where it ends, leaving notes and hash marks in my wake, trying to make sure it all, sense of all, sense of it all. Chasing some yellow child made of light. I, I didn't even see the yellow child. What's wrong with that? I saw the yellow child once. It's like blah, 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 shut up. Where is the yellow child? Hello. Saw this writing in the bathroom. Guessing if you were reading this note, you probably saw it too. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Looks like it was written in blood. One word. Spime. No idea what this is supposed to mean. Is it a clue? Maybe. I should find Simon. Maybe he can help me maybe he can help me out after all his fault i'm in this mess to begin with but who is simon am i simon are you simon what's what's with the glowy yellow child and i don't see the word spime written anywhere on the wall i just see one i just see five five over and over again uh-oh it's here I do not see the word spime anywhere. You are a liar, sir. And down. And down. That was close. Okay, Mr. Hoofman. Come on. Stop it. Go away. Technically, if the Langolier really wanted to kill us, it just had to sit at the exit. I'd have to show up eventually. Technically speaking. 
if it was smart in any way, shape, or form. But obviously, see, what's going on here is it's bleeding predator blood from its brain. So it's like, it's getting stupider by the second. That's what's going on. Stop it with your screamy face. God, how much longer is this game? Damn it. Oh, fuck. He's back. Boop. Well, now I don't know what to think. I believe... I believed initially it was, though, him, that Simon, that I would find escape. I'm pretty sure that meant to be through. Initially, it was through him, that Simon, that I would find escape. Now I find myself believing there was no escape, at least not for everyone. I need to think back to the beginning. I mean... Hello? I think I just fucked him up again. No, I didn't! Well, so much for that. <laughs> so now the notes are repeating, which is telling me that I'm doing something wrong. Is this, is this a perpetual loop now? I never did find tape two. And it wants me to find tape four as well. Enough of you. Go away. Nobody likes you. But you drip goo everywhere. You know how hard it is to clean up goo? Okay, okay, okay. So it's not, it's not repeating. So, okay. So I write a note in order to prove something to myself. I leave the diner. Find another note. What exactly does that prove? I'm going to try the exit again. Ooh. He's looking for us. Alright, come on. And down. And down. Yes. Good Langolier. Get the fu- No! Wrong bad bad Langolier. Bad. Bad Langolier. Come on. Get. Go on. Get it that way. Yes. Bye! Jokey. I don't know what to do with my life. It's not going very fast, very far. Just going in circles, pretty much is all I can do. Saw this writing in the bathroom. Guessing if you're reading this. Again, what is it? There's no writing in the bathroom other than the number five over and over again. All my life I've been searching for something. It didn't sound like that was part of that song. Nothing. After what I just saw, I'm not even sure what real is anymore. Are you still there, yellow child? Am I still here? Or there? Okay, um... Fuck off! I saw the yellow child once! What? What is with this yellow child? Uh oh. Gotcha. No, no, oh, no, we got the yellow no. child! Let me go, you big bully! I don't think so. You're I'm the big the bully! Of all this, aren't you? You're gonna tell me what's going on right now. Leave me alone! Let me go! No! Fuck Tough you! Guy, huh? we'll see about Beat his head in! Beat his head in! Time to give him a swirly. Give him a swirly. He's gonna give him a swirly. <laughs> no, I can't. You're not the one I'm looking for. I need to find the one who exits. Now let me. I'm go. the one who exits. I warned you. You made me do this. No, stop. <laughs> oh. oh. You made me all old. I didn't even Where get to have a midlife crisis. Go through the back door just one more time. I'll explain everything to you there. But hurry, the keepers are coming. No, 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 they're not the keepers. They are the Langoliers. Oh, great. I can't run anymore. Enforcement of interdimensional safety laws and regulations. 
In order to maintain balance between planes of existence, special enforcers commonly referred to as quantum keepers or Langoliers to nullify any paradoxes that may arise. The sole purpose so they are Langoliers. is to track down any paradoxical entity that can present itself within a looping time scale. Once any threat is eliminated, they simply fade from existence and convert to dark matter state until the need calls upon them again, repeating the cycle as necessary. Though frightening in appearance, the Quantum Keeper plays a crucial role in protecting against paradoxes that may otherwise spread to surrounding planes of existence and restore order to the multiverse. Could he just help me escape instead? D. Fifth Dimensional Travel 101. Okay, yes. As a user, Take notes, there might be a quiz at the end. Your capabilities for passage stem beyond our fifth dimensional status to lower levels of existence. Think back to the idea of an ant traveling along a sheet of paper. Okay. Imagine now if the paper were to be rolled up so that both ends are now touching. As the I do love that it's got the, fi the old film the grade thing going the on. Is created. Inhabitants of this existence are bound to the sheet as their boards are governed by the laws of this dimension. As a fifth dimensional traveler, however, you are free to cross to any point on any plane at any given moment. Such freedoms must be tempered with caution, as failure to act within the safety guidelines could disrupt not only the currently occupied possibility space, but rupture adjacent planes of existence as well. It also sent the Langoliers after you. across the infinity sphere. Travel with caution. Hey, there's the spine! Tape C. Avoiding paradoxes. Our actions as interdimensional travelers can echo unforeseen consequences across the farthest Bastard! of Bastard! It's all your fault, yellow child! Therefore, we must tread carefully to avoid setting into motion any event that could alter the course of other planes of existence. You hear Remember, that, Elizabeth? Can you hear that all the way over in Bioshock Infinite? Is everyone's responsibility. Refer to the handbook, The Do's and Do Not Do's of Interdimensional Travel. I was not given that book, so does that mean I'm off the hook? <laughs> does that mean if, I'm, if, I'm, if I never got the book, am I off the hook? Something wrong with my freaking, like, reflection there. It doesn't move like I do. Oh god, I can't even duck now. Game is not ready for part two. Click this message to open part two. After clicking, give it a second. You may need to allow access the same way you did. Okay, so now we are entering part two. Oh my goodness. All right, entering part two. Okay, the game just freaked the hell out trying to get into part two, but it eventually loaded. So that's the good thing. And it looks like our capture and everything is still up and going, oh God. No, 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 no. I can run now. Run, dude. Run. Oh, the waitress is gone. Did you see that? Ooh, sounds are all back. I can't go in the bathroom anymore. Well, hey there, old timer. You don't look so good. Uh, yeah. I think I just had a lot of my essences drained out through the, you know, the multiple dimensions. Huh? Oh, what is it, Tom? Do we still have that blanket in Lost and Found? The red one? Oh, that sounds so nice of him. So yeah. Could you go grab that and bring it over to our friend here? Looks yeah. like he could use it. I'm old. Sure thing. Why do you have a seat here at the booth? I'll be right back. <sighs> oh my God, sir! sir? sir? Can you hear me, okay, sir? <gasps> oh! Oh! Why don't you rest up? Do you remember? Just let us know. From all the time you need. The beginning, the guy I said was in the red straight jacket and disappeared. I'm surprised you recognize me without my head inside a toilet. I'm sorry. Ha ha ha. I was so scared and I... Pissed no, off? Oh, I'm the one who should be sorry. None of this was your fault. You were simply caught up in something I was doing. And for that, well, I guess we both kind of screwed up. I don't... I didn't do anything! Maybe Give someone... This will clear things up. Remember this? Don't worry, only you can see me. I knew it! That's, I called it! Is that me? In a way, I'm not I'm like, like you, you know. Where, where I come I from, from, all possibilities exist both all at once and not at all. I don't expect Oof. you to understand. I don't. I kind simply can't. But I realize I made a big mistake, and I must spend the rest of what you call forever fixing that mistake. <laughs> You're 
you're going to be doing this forever. No, silly. <laughs> Don't you say we. Don't say we. What you call forever. Forever is not as long as you think it is. But that's not for you to understand. Not now, anyway. Will I ever understand all that's happened here? Perhaps, in time. But right this second, wouldn't you rather leave this place? Yeah, pretty much. I... Yes. Then go. Out the front door this time. Go before you end up leaving out the back again. Go. You are the one who leaves. What a shitty title. I would like, you know, the one who eats the steak. Or, you know, the one who conquers video games. Or the one who is not incredibly old and decrepit. Hey! I'm the one who is not old and decrepit. Yay! <laughs> okay, um, I had to... Is, yeah, you may have noticed a jump cut. I had to get rid of some copyrighted music that was playing in the background, so uh, there was that. Uh, thoughts on the game? It's a really cool game. I, I liked it. Uh, there was uh, some time there where I was getting a little annoyed, but I think that was sort of like a reflection of the main character coming back on me. I'm like, what is going on? Damn it. What am I supposed to be looking for? What am I supposed to be doing? And it, it was all part of the game. It was just part of the game. And it was supposed to make you feel that way, I, I think. And But there's like question, I, you know, question time. Who was Simon? Who was writing the notes? And who was the yellow child? The yellow child was obviously some fifth dimensional being, but was that Simon? Was Simon the Langolier or, or I'm sorry, the keeper? It was just a Langolier. Come on, come on, suits and noobs. Let, let, let's be honest. You watched the Langoliers, didn't you? Mm hmm. You watched it a lot, didn't you? You liked the Langoliers. There's something wrong with you, if that's true. Anyway, and so, okay. I'm going to take a stab in the dark here. Um, the main character is Simon, I think. Maybe. But See, now I'm confused. I, I am confused. If the main character is Simon, but I'm also thinking the main character is the one writing the notes. If the one writing the notes is referring to himself in the third person, or is he giving a name to the other versions of himself he's seeing as they're looping? See, I'm confused. I, I, this game is very confusing to me. I'm not some quantum mechanics genius. I'm, I'm not exactly a genius of anything, really. I just play video games. That's what I do. <laughs> but it was a really cool game. It was, uh... I don't know. Like, the, the monster wasn't really altogether terrifying or really didn't really feel that threatening because, like, there was no real, like, consequence to death. Like death just puts you back at the beginning of the of the fir like the current quantum reality you're in. Just repeat it. And if you just you've already collected the notes, so you don't have to do it again, so you just bum rush through, continue through to the you know, rest of the game. I if if I had a criticism, I would say um there should be some kind of consequence for death. Um uh, not saying that you should start the whole game over or anything like that, because with this game that would be oh god. If you got like the the 20th version, you had to start all over. But something. There should be, like, some kind of consequence. So it almost made, like, the villain seem less threatening because it wasn't doing anything, you know, dramatic or, or drastic is rather the word I'm probably looking for. Uh, it was interestingly designed, but again, I think students and nukes liked the Langoliers. Don't deny it. Uh... Other than that, you know, I mean, uh, for being an indie game, it, it was fairly well done. The there was some grammatical errors in the in the notes. Uh, the main character's voice—I don't know who, if it was Yud Suits that did the voice or somebody else. It probably says somewhere here in the comp. That actually doesn't say the credits anywhere. But well, it does. It says voices, but it doesn't say who did what. Oh yeah, it does PLD narrator? See, oh yes, I'm an idiot. The player was done by Joe. Ah! Aha! All I had to do was look at the credits. Simon and the player were voiced by two separate people, so obviously Simon is not the, the main character. Simon must be the yellow child. But didn't, didn't one of the notes refer to the yellow child and Simon as two different people? Or did I misinterpret that note? Okay, for the, for the time being, we're going to refer to Simon as the yellow child. 
Okay. So that means that the player is the one leaving the notes. Okay. Things come together now. You just look look for the little hints. My brain does work. <laughs> uh, final thoughts on the game. Final verdicts. It's a cool game. It's, it's really well done. I want to see more from Suits and Nukes. You, you, do, you do some good work, Bo. <sighs> for now, however, if you enjoyed it, let me know and let him know specifically with a like, comment, subscribe, share it, or you can click on the annotations for other videos I've done. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.